Hey guys, this is a video of my review on the Saint Laurent Small Lulu Bag and Taupe. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos out there on the black colorway, the beige, and even the white, but not so much in this taupe color, and I know it's pretty popular, so I wanted to make this video to show off the color a little bit, talk about this bag, and as well as show you what fits and some mod shots. In terms of a general overview of this bag, it is just a classic flap style bag made of smooth calfskin leather that's really soft. It's quilted and it has a little bit of puffiness to it, which I really like and makes it look really different. It has a logo right here, a really strong magnetic closure, and I like to open it with both my fingers under and the logo for leverage, just because I've read that if you open it like this, like you typically would, um, it does increase the creasing on the bag. So just like this, I feel will do a lot in terms of protecting the flap and the leather of the bag. And then just inside the bag, there's two large compartments as well as a zipper compartment in the middle and then a slip pocket right here. And then the magnetic closure does have a little ridge so that it can really easily find the magnet and you can close it pretty easily on the go. It has a long chain strap that can be worn on the shoulder like this or you can just pull it up and wear it as a shoulder or a crossbody bag. So I'll bring the bag a little bit closer so you can see the color in natural sunlight. The Saint Laurent website definitely doesn't do it justice in terms of the color they have on the website because it's totally different from what it looks like in person. But I'd say it's it's not really a beige. It's, it's probably a true taupe. I like that because it's a little bit more interesting than say a beige bag or a camel colored bag. Um, and for me, I have a closet full of black bags. So this just offers something different when I'm wearing an all black outfit. In some lights, it does kind of look a little bit brown or khaki but then in other lights it does look more like a true taupe with a more pink undertone so it's just a really interesting color. Big retails on the Saint Laurent site right now for $3,160 Canadian dollars. I got this bag before the price increase from Essence.com for $2,795 Canadian dollars and Essence is an authorized Saint Laurent retailer um, they are based out of Quebec and I know people have concerns about that site but I've purchased from there many times and I think their customer service is actually really great too so I would definitely recommend buying from there. In fact, if you still wanted to get this bag, they do have it at the old price of $2,795 and so uh, that's one way to save a few hundred off retail right now. Another option is to look at Selfridges in London. I know people have ordered from there to also get it at the old price. Um, other ways you can save on this bag, I know there's there's Farfetch codes, there's um, new sign up codes for say my Teresa, I think that still works. And I know Forward just had a blanket 20% off their whole website recently and those do come up every few months. So that also works on Saint Laurent bags. The way Saint Laurent is right now, they're definitely not as much of a sale brand anymore. I know before I would always see Saint Laurent bags in the sale section and that was also a reason why I was never really drawn to the bag as much as I am now. But now with their price increases and just with removing themselves from having a lot of sales, I think it's really going to elevate the reputation of their brand. And you know, alongside of that, there's also been so many increases with Chanel, so many, so much controversy there um, and Louis Vuitton as well in terms of quality issues that I believe a lot of people are going to start turning to Saint Laurent and to start looking a little bit more closely at their bags. So it's a great time to get into the brand now if you haven't uh, purchased anything for your collection from this brand. So I did want to talk about what to look for when you're buying this bag, especially if you're buying it online and you can't get to a boutique and store to pick out the specific bag you're going to buy. I know from a lot of reviews I've read on 
purse for them. People often receive these bags with huge creases and indents or wobbles on the front flap. So you have to be really careful when you pick out a bag or receive a bag that it doesn't have that. I got mine from Essence and it was just in great condition. And I know this is almost an exception. I know in some of the other bags, there's little dents, uh, which really gives the bag character. But if it's not something that bothers you, that should be something you should look out for. In terms of wrinkling, there is a little bit of wrinkling around the logo. It's really minor, but I think that's just the natural texture of the bag so that doesn't really bother me that much i know some of the other bags have a lot more wrinkles increasing so that's just something to look out for if that bothers you another thing to look out for is the grommets so as you can see here there's saint laurent paris printed on every single grommet And they don't line up straight exactly. I think mine are pretty good, but I have seen ones where it's quite crooked and the Saint Laurent Paris is almost 90 degrees. So just watch out for that. And as for these two leather pieces here on the top of the strap, something else you wanna look out for is the Saint Laurent stamping. I know some people that have received the bag have said that the stamping can be off center or crooked. So you want to do a check of that too when you receive the bag. Now I'll show you guys what fits in this bag. I took this bag out yesterday and this is all of what I've packed. It's my daily essentials. So first off, I have all my little items like tissues, scrunchie, uh, pens, hand sani, and lip products. So I just pop those in a pouch here from Majuri. And I just put that in the front compartment here. And then the items I don't access quite as much because I do usually use Apple Pay is my wallet slash key clay. Then I have my card holder for my extra cards. And then my car key I also popped in the back right here. And what I really like about these compartments, I didn't think I would use it as much as I do because usually my bags are just one big black hole. I really like this middle compartment here for things that I want quick access to and to separate it from all my other things. So what I did here was I put my mask in here along with the lip balm that I use the most. So I know that they're separated from everything and I will use them a lot. Then I just put my AirPods in the back. And my sunglasses, these are Ray-Bans, they fit in the back here too. And then with my phone, I just have the regular sized iPhone it's an iPhone 13. I put that in here and it all closes really well. And I didn't find the bag too heavy either. Now I also have some other items I wanted to show you guys because I know that uh, people may be wanting to bring these things out with them. So here I have an e-reader. This is a Kobo or a Kindle equivalent here in Canada. I got this 10 years ago and it still works. So I still use this when I wanna read on the go. So this fits really well just in the back here. Now, if you are a book lover and you want to fit an actual novel, so I have this kind of a standard size novel here uh, that unfortunately will not fit um, so it's gonna have to be e-reader if you want to bring this bag out. A couple other items I want to show is the water bottle and an umbrella if you needed to bring them. So in this case I probably remove this pouch here, put my wallet back in, and put those in this front compartment. So this is an 8 ounce swell bottle and it fits really well in the front here closes up so I probably have to downsize some of my um, 
knickknacks like my my lip products and some whatnot uh, to be able to fit that in but this swell bottle will fit no problem and then I also have this umbrella here this is kind of a standard size umbrella I just got this from H&M and it, it fits and you can just put in your lipstick and whatever up at the top and that'll close too. So for the size, I'd say this bag fits a lot. And I'll show this bag again when I have all my essentials filled here. I'll just take out my sunglasses so you can see the bag with tons of space. I don't actually put anything in this back slip pocket here. I wanted to also mention that this pocket is actually a leather piece, so that feels really nice too but it definitely fits all of your daily essentials. So that's my first impressions of this Saint Laurent small Lulu bag and taupe. I hope it helps if you're also looking for this color but can't get to a boutique to see this color for yourself. Um, this is my first YouTube video ever. I just wanted to make this video because I didn't see a lot of other videos out there on this taupe color. I hope that helps. If you would like to leave me a comment, let me know what you think of this color, what you think of this bag, or if you have any other questions about this bag, I will do my best to answer. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.